sometimes I may be in an area to where some people may be listening to rap music. And in some cases, the person or people may be in their car and have the music up so loud. Like, if you are in your car, why do you have the music turned so loud to where I probably can hear you quite a distance away? Sometimes I listen to in situations like that, sometimes I may listen to the rap song to see what they are talking about. And much of the time, I believe, the message of the song is so low level. Money, sex, drugs, haters, like caveman stuff, like low level caveman animal minded i would say stuff let me say this if there is a minister teaching you about things of christ telling you what you know don't steal you know don't cuss people out be humble uh be patient perseverance stuff like that right so a person of christ probably would be teaching you how to be christ-like okay what about i don't know about all rap music but i guess much of the mainstream stuff the mainstream bad rap music now, what are the artists of what I re of what I am referring to? What are they? Aren't they ministering to you as well? Can't you say that they are a minister of Satan? Kevin, I am trying to live for God, but I continue to fall off. Are you listening to ministers of Satan? If you're listening to songs that is telling you to be prideful, shake those haters off, shoot people, kill people, do drugs, have sex, all that stuff there, Please listen to what I am saying. I believe faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I may not have that scripture right. So my faith, I guess, should grow the more I am willing to want to do what is right and the more that I listen or read the Bible, right? If you are listening to a rap artist telling you to be vain, and this doesn't only have to be rap, this can be, I guess, rock or whatever genre there is. If there is music telling you to be contrary to how God is, be vain, don't be humble, you know, be lustful, uh, have sex who, with whomever you want to. If you are listening to music telling you to be contrary to the word of God, how do you think you are going to be? You may say that it is only entertainment. How is that? How is that? Aren't you going to be influenced? 
If you go to church and you listen to the pastor or whomever tell you how to be Christ-like, aren't you going to be somewhat or influenced by that? I think many of us will. So in the same light, if a rap artist or whatever type of artist is telling you how to be, get on my level or <laughs> whatever they say, won't you be influenced by that too? Because you may not be ministered the things of Christ, but you are being ministered, I believe, either way. Rap music or bad music, should I say, it's not entertainment. That is not entertainment. If anything, I would say it is death-tainment. <laughs> Music, I believe, have influence over all of us. Don't be deceived. If you continue to listen to things of death and sex and whatever else, how do you believe you are going to respond towards it? Kevin, I can still be strong in God. I like listening to it because I like the beat and I like to dance, so I like to dance to demonic music, and it is only for entertainment. I can still serve God and listen to drug music and sexual content and music. I still can entertain myself with that and serve God at the same time. Uh, I believe you are setting yourself up for failure. Look, if you are listening to that hip hop stuff or that rap stuff, bad music, bad, should I say bad hip hop and rap music, turn it off. Low level stuff. Like, how can you even, if, man. I used to listen to that mess as well. But if you can really relate to music like that, doesn't that say so much about you? If you can relate to low level music, like what is the content really about? Uh, sex? Like, is that really music? Or are they preaching to you? So if you can relate to low level stuff like that, what does that say about you? Seriously, if you can be entertained with. How is that even music? Seriously. Like, how can you be entertained? It's like. I am not very smart, but it's like a person is using like a fourth of their brain to make music, like not really using. <laughs> Do you understand what what I am trying to say to you? Very, very low level stuff. And you may be addicted to it. So what you have to do is totally go cold turkey, not listen to it at all, to get off of that type of music. Because surely I think that music, that music is affecting many people. How can't it? Honestly, I don't really think it is made for music if you understand what I am trying to say to you. I think it is 
trying to shape you in being something that is against Christ. Yes, they may be playing some music while they are rhyming or whatever, but ultimately I believe they are trying to shape people in being very low level. Not saying that there aren't people who are rich. Am I saying that right? There may be some people who are rich that act like that. Even though you may be rich and if you act like that, it is still low level if you understand what I am trying to say to you. So what I teach, whether it is music, movies, friends, family members, or whatever, if there is anything influencing you and being wicked, try to stay away. It doesn't matter if it is your mother, father, sister, brother, whomever. If you are on your way to hell because of a cousin, stay away. Kevin, in my tradition, we don't stay away from each other. We have to stay together in a tight-knit group. Yeah, I know they are influencing me to be evil, but that is my family member. Get out of here, man. What? I am on my way to hell, let's say, because of my brother. And yes, that is my brother. So since that is my brother, I should stay around that person even though that person is influencing me to go to hell. What? It doesn't matter what your family tradition is. If someone is causing you to be evil, stay away. Find another option. Look now, how long are we going to be on this earth? There may be some kids out there that may not have a choice. But if you are in an adult, I believe you have a choice. It's not that, it's not that you should think you are better than they. It's that you need to stay away, I think, so that you don't fall into, I guess, I would say, the same snare as they. Because if the enemy has caught most of your family, if they are in bondage, why place yourself under bondage because of them? If your family has a drug addiction, why be consumed by it because they are of your blood? Makes no sense, man. Makes no sense. Let me stop here. Stay away.